Hi guys and girls and welcome back to How To Studio with Dr. Dave Tech. So today we're going to be showing you how to install the Truckee app overlay. So first things first, you're going to head over to truckeeapp.com. You're going to click in-game overlay. You're going to scroll down the page until you see the download now. And then you're going to then click on this get in-game overlay app. I've already got it, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to head back onto the desktop and we're going to load up the Truckee overlay. So here is the Truckee app overlay. So this is the desktop view. You can see you've got my profile, you've got the leaderboard, achievements gameplay so if the trucky app has found both of your games and your mp launcher all three will be displayed here and then if it's telling you that the telemetry is out of date you need to click up here where it says overlay status and it will have an update for both euro truck and american truck you need to make sure that this stays up to date Otherwise, the Truckee app will not work in game. So now we're going to head over into Euro Truck Simulator. And there is one step you must do on this home screen, and that is to make sure that the Steam Cloud is turned off. So as you saw, I just clicked on the Steam Cloud at the top of the first window and here it says use Steam Cloud it is currently turned off. Click apply and then hit continue game. So we've now loaded into the menu screen of Euro Truck Simulator and the next step we're going to go to options keys and buttons and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the screen and we're looking for the quick save and the quick load option i've set both of these buttons to the two side buttons on my mouse you can set these to the mouse the keyboard button box so on and so forth long as you've got both of these mapped and you remember where you map them to once you've done that you can now head into the game So as you can see, we've now loaded into the game and you can see two overlays. You can see the top bar overlay, which is showing that I have no current friends on Euro Truck because I'm not currently running MP. I'm currently running single player. And then you can see the second box up there that's got your truck and trailer. So my license plate on my truck is Big Boss. I am the owner of Dr. Dave Logistics. You can also see that I'm running a Scania R 2009. You can see how much fuel I've got on board and you can also see that I'm currently going zero kilometers an hour. So to make the overlays go away, you need to hold left alt and press the G key. That will make the first overlay go away. Then you'll press alt and X to make the bar overlay go away and the same keys to bring it back and now the most important one is alt d which will bring up the dispatcher so with inside the dispatcher when you first load it up it will have a, a, a red box on the screen asking you to agree to the terms and conditions you just click ok and once you've done so you need to make sure that the game is euro truck simulator and you're on the correct profile but before you jump into this, you need to make sure sometimes that does happen where the overlay, you go to close the overlay and it will minimize your game. So please be aware that that sometimes can happen. So first things first, I'm just going to press Alt and X and make the top bar go away. I'm now going to make a quick save. You'll see the saving logo in the top left. 
Now, once I've made the quick save, I can then start to use the dispatch. So it is currently 2.49 and as you can see there was the quick save made at 2.49. So you need to be using a quick save not an auto save because sometimes it will crash the game if you use an auto save. It's a 50-50 chance but I found if you use a quick save it is more like 90% chance that it will work without crashing your game. So. We are currently in London, so I'm going to use the source as London, and I want to go to Birmingham. So now you can see source is where you are, and Birmingham is where you're going to go. It's already selected the yards that we will use, which is MBFC, it's the current yard I am sat in, and we are going to BCP in Birmingham. I would like to take a helicopter for this load so I just type in hell and it comes up with helicopter and you can also choose if you want to use a low loader a long low loader or a short low loader and then you've also got the low bed free over here the um, you can change this if you're using a different trailer and so on and so forth but once you have selected the source the destination the yard and the cargo you hit add delivery so now you can see that we've gone from London to Birmingham so the source is now updated to Birmingham and BCP so once I drop this load off when I add another one in say Liverpool for instance and I want to take a cable reel which is my favorite load we're going to add that so when we drop off the first load at bcp we're going to go back to the front gate to the marker go to freight market and we're going to pick up from the same yard so wherever you drop off your next load is in the same yard so you're not having to fumble around to try and find what yard in birmingham your load is at you go London, Birmingham, BCP, you drop off the load, you pick up a load, you leave BCP with your load, and then you go to Liverpool. So once you've done this, you then need to hit update game save, just like so. And this box will appear, but if you have your mouse hovered over the box, the bar at the bottom stops. So you need to make sure that your mouse is nowhere near the green box. Now that that's updated, these loads are ready to go into the game. But there is another option. So say for instance, me, Dr. Dave, wants to send these loads to a member in the DDL. What I would do is I would copy the job list unique ID code right here, copy. And I'm just going to scrap off both of these jobs. So say now I am DDL member one. I have sent them the code across. They're going to make a quick save, like I said before. And they're going to use this import function. So what they're going to do is they're going to copy the code that I sent across. And they're going to hit paste. So there's the code that I sent to DDL driver number one and then they're going to click the import button so now they have exactly the same loads as i have so when we go on a convoy on multiplayer everybody has the same load being picked up and dropped off to the same yards there is none of this having to are oh, there i can't find a load in the freight market blah 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 this is how to do it you just copy the unique list, uh, the job list unique ID code, and you send it to every member in your VTC or anybody that is convoying with you. You send them this simple code. They will enter it into the import dispatch, click the import button, and then they will hit update game save. Once myself, i.e. Dr. Dave, has made the loads 
I copied the code, sent it to DDL driver number one or DDL driver number two or 10, 20, whatever. They have now pasted the code in, they've imported it, they've updated their game save, and then you can now cross off the overlay. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the quick load button that we set up earlier on. And then you can see here, this is my quick save that I made earlier. And then I'm gonna hit the load button. The game has reloaded and you can already see that the helicopter is right behind me without even going to the freight market we can already see that it's worked but we'll show you anyway we'll press the escape key we'll go to job market we'll go to freight market and it will automatically take you to the job that you selected as you can see it's got gps written on it right here and it is going from london to birmingham and it is a helicopter so you just set destination as normal you will drive to the front gate stop on the marker you'll press enter freight market click on your job and if you do want to change the trailer you just click on the little cog and you can change the trailer to a short a long or whatever you like whichever one of these trailers tickles your pickle and all of that you can then decide which one you want to take so I'm not going to worry about changing the trailer. I'm just going to click on the bottom, take job. I'm going to turn the truck around. As you can see, the trailer is now highlighted. Turn the game sound down a tad. It's probably blaring out over the top of me. So we're just going to back up to this trailer. Press T to accept the load. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Alt and G. Oh, that's Alt D. No. Right, and as you can now see on the screen, we can see that I'm carrying a helicopter. There is no damage. Let's just take that out of, uh, out of reverse. So we're going to London to Birmingham. It's telling me the price, the weight, and how long the navigation is set for. So there you go, it's as simple as that guys, if you follow the instructions in this video, you will be able to set your own loads within Euro Truck and American Truck Simulator, and you'll also be able to copy the unique ID code if you want your friend to carry the same loads or your VTC to carry the same loads, that is how you do it. So thank you very much for watching How To Studio, and as always, I've been Dr. Dave Tech. You guys have been amazing. Thanks for supporting the channel. And if you don't already follow me over on my streaming channel, that is youtube.com forward slash drdavetech1. And if you're after any Euro truck or American truck mods for single player, don't forget to head over to Panda Mod Studio and go and check out some of the mod reviews that we've done over there. So thank you very much and goodbye for now.